Hi and welcome to the eraser carver eraser carving class. I thought I would actually do a video with a slightly better camera than I usually use, just so you can see the detail of when I'm actually starting to carve. Now this particular carving is going to be for my Yuletide card this year, which I'm a bit late in starting off, but nevertheless um, I should get everything finished in time. Now when I'm doing text, I tend to actually go into Photoshop and actually print the text out that I want to use, um, just because you know you get a, a clear font and you also can choose from a wide range of fonts and you're not necessarily restricted to your own calligraphy style. This particular font that I've chosen for the Yuletide card is one that's called Gondola SD and the details are actually in the swash version of the SD font. Um, this is available for free on fontsquirrel.com so very easy to find and to use and then once I actually printed that out and got it into the way that I wanted it and then sketched around a few swirls and some holly and ivy leaves once that was done, I actually refined the drawing a bit more onto tracing paper. So I've actually changed a few places where the swirls were and where the leaves were as I was working it out. And I also took out the actual swashes because I didn't think they would come across very well. And then added one to the G on the bottom there as well. So that's all traced out. And now we're ready to actually go and transfer this onto the carbon material. This carving material that I'm using is Speedy Carve by Speedball. Um, it is available in the UK. If you try places like TN Lawrence, you should be able to find that. Um, but I actually, my preferred stamp carving medium is actually from stampees.com in America. Um, <coughs> The material that they actually use is PZ cut, but they've run out of that particular formula at the moment, so uh, I'm just using the speedball, but um, I need to place an order with Stampees and just try out the new formulas that they've got, which I'm looking forward to doing at some point. Now, I like to actually prepare my carving block just a little bit with some fine grit sandpaper, just to give the block a bit of tooth and to take the shine off the top. I don't know if you can quite see on there, but there is a quite a bit of shine on there. So it's literally just a light sanding with the sandpaper. And not too much, and once that's done, we have a very handy brush here which I actually got from the body shop many many years ago and I think it was supposed to be for exfoliating your face but I just use it for carving and just wipe off the dust off the top of the carving material like that and that actually feels a lot better now so it's going to take ink well and it is also going to take my tracing pencil drawing well as well. I'll just take off the bits of tape that I used to hold the drawing down when I was actually making it. Um, what I'm actually going to do is just cut that round the side so I can actually make sure that this is adhered onto the carving block and that it won't move when I'm transferring the image over. important when you're doing text. Always, in fact, it's always good to actually use tracing paper when you're doing text because then you can be sure that you're going to get the text the right way around on the printing block and then when you print it, it won't come out backwards and you won't have wasted all that time carving it and only for your text to come out backwards. So, trace it. Put the tracing face down onto your carving block. 
and secure it with some tail tape around the edge. And then with a pencil just transfer the image onto the carving block by going over the back of the image with your pencil. Now I use a HB pencil both for actually drawing the image onto the tracing paper and then for doing this particular process of transferring the image onto the block. And as you can see, in fact I'll do a bit more and then you can see it coming through. So that's transferring nicely onto the block. So I'm going to continue with that and then I'll be back in a moment when that's all transferred.